Bye. To another edition of FWF Blood. I post am your new CEO, the one and only Rockley Clown. Now, as you know, last week, I was in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Including for the first time in women's action, returning to the Danny, you punk ass. <laughs> Springs. This is the one and only Jake Longley. And here's a point.
Looks like these two young guys are about ready to go. Waiting with them, and we should be right on the way. There it is, folks. It looks like he's just passing around here. And look at that emerald quick to shut him away. I think that's only a gangbang with me over here. And he reaches it! Shut him down! Now I kick the midsection from Chris Emerald. And a big suplex! Oh, yeah, one pass. Now, this is stomping out of at the bad thing. He's trying to stomp him down under the so to speak. He's back up. Now, a body slam! Looks like a sunball is spreading air! She only has any two left up and buckle. And up he goes! Nobody at home! Thank you. 
It looks like I could have just tossed him out of here with nothing now. Oh, yeah, yeah, You're a weak, gutless individual. You will suffer. We will break your neck. You low, gutless, weak mice. Be afraid. <laughs> You're a weak, gutless individual. You will suffer. We will break your neck. You low, gutless, <laughs> weak mice. Be afraid. Okay, let's get let's get down to business, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, both competitors are locked up, going back and forth. But no, he comes back with a straight kick to the mush. Ah, oh, what a kick taking down Jake Longley. Hey, Rocco, what's going on? Thought you could use a little bit of help. Right now, Kurt going down. He's going for the pin. Referee going down. One. Two, but no, no, they get their arm up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jake, Jake Longley still in the game. Still in the game. Damn you, ref. You should have counted fast. Right now, Kurt is bring, bringing him up, holding him. But it looks like Longley's trying to get out of it. But Kurt is literally trying to hold on to him as he's on one knee. But no, no. Oh, did you just see that? The referee didn't see it, but did he just low blow Curtis? I'm guessing he only got a thigh because Curtis is back up. Jake Longley just sitting there. He's like, what's up? As Curtis is standing up saying, get up. Up oh, here comes Longley back on his feet. Both competitors standing each other down. Oh, and Longley with a chop, but no, Curtis returning with a, with a neck breaker, taking him down. Damn, what a neck breaker. And again, going for that pin. Ref going down. One, two, no, only a two count again. Longley's still in the game. As Curtis is baffled, saying, what the hell? Longley literally getting his arm up. And the ref dropping again, checking on Longley. Curtis literally finger in the air as he says, you're a poor ref, mate. <laughs> He's so poor that he has to stay on the ground. But no, right now, Curtis picking Longley back up. Again, Longley trying to get out, but no, Curtis with a step. Oh, Snapmare taking down Longley again. So far, Longley's been taking the short end of the stick here. Can he make a comeback? Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, Curtis. Referee, one, two, three. And, oh, that's not good. Right now, Cur Curtis, Ward, uh, Ward Dark Emerald. I'm just going to call you Emerald, dude. Your winner, Emerald, what's up? Lagasse's long lost brother. I know, right? But that's the thing. Curtis literally showing his dominance, taking Longley down over and over and over. Alright, uh, hold on, shut up. Both of you, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let this be a message to all you heels back there. I'm coming for you one by one, and I will get you all. Your time is coming.
Apparently someone is yelling, bring some dicks. Wow. And what a dick he was, but yeah. He's going to put have to put a little bit more effort into that to be a little bit more intimidating. Because right now, in my opinion, a 12-year-old could beat his ass. But that's just promo-wise. Ring-wise, very dominant against Jake, Jake Longley. What's up? Te digo. Hey, Rocco, you alive? Hey, someone get another commentator. Someone stuffed Rocco. Rocco, wake up. Yo, Ace, what up? But yeah, that was quite a match there. Yeah, what's up? There we go. Now my only is a little bit. Dude, I thought someone stuffed you, man. <laughs> I thought someone stuffed you. Where, where, where have you been? I've been, I've been talking to you, and you'd be like, no words coming I'm from your mouth. I'm glad you can make it. That's for sure. You helped me for very sure, much. Sure. Appreciate it. Believe me. Te digo, I saw you struggling, man, but uh, the show must go on. Some women's action here. Something we haven't Ooh, seen here in the WF in a few months. Orale, women. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? ¿Qué tenemos, Rocco? What do we got? First up, we got our first ever appearance in the FWF. Ah. Hailing from Avon Park, Florida. She weighs in at 159 pounds. The oh. one and only Faith Uzuna. Oh, Faith Uzuna. I've seen her around the grid. Chick's got skills, but all. <laughs> Last time I saw her, this did, uh, it didn't really go well for her, so it's been a while. Let's see if she could actually, if she's actually improved on her skills. What, what are your thoughts, Rocco? Well, I have seen her perform quite a bit, too. A very talented competitor, that's for sure. It's oh, been yes, several she has... months since I've seen her compete. The question is, does she still have those skills? That's, that's what I'm thinking. Remember, she has been gone for a while. You know, we don't know if she's been training or she's, or she's actually just been sitting around, you know. Because when you, when you sit around, you lose all your, you know, you lose all that knowledge. Orale, it's the dick. Your mom's a dick. Yeah, my mom loves that, but oh, your mom loves mine. What's up? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't doubt it. My mom is a hoe. So you're a son of a hoe. Sweet. Probably. <laughs> hey, Rocco, I see you got yourself a new commentary partner, so I'm going to bail, man. But oh, good commenting with you. Later, brah. <laughs> Later, brah. Rocco, I can't hear anything you're saying. You choppy as shit. Rocco, we set your voice. I cannot hear a word you're saying. Anybody else having trouble hearing Rocco? Or is it me? Rocco, we set your damn voice, man. Hey. Right. Okay, we got uh, Danny over there in the corner. Danny, come see her table with us.
how many times a day do you have to go? Sandy's starting with a fountain early on. Okay. It looks like they're staring each other down.
Oh, there we are. Apparently my commentary left me last match, so I apologize for that. Our final contest. Let's just say I've gotten a little tired of these humans thinking they could take over the joint. So I'll tell you what. Let me set foot in that ring. Because <laughs> this contest is for our prestigious FWF Alpha Championship. We don't, and believe me, we don't want to lose that baby. Is set for one fall. And of now let me bring out the competitors in just a moment here once I get it straightened out. Introducing first the challenger from Baker, Florida. This is the Southern Renegade, Danny Boy, Firehawk. His opponent from Puerto Rico, he is the FWF Alpha Champion, Wolf Piamonge. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in still FWF Alpha Champion, Wolfgang Mange. And I do apologize for the lack of commentary in, in this show. <laughs> but I do thank you all for coming out. Hope you did at least enjoy the matches we had. Hope to see you again next week. Same mat time. Same mat place. Same mat channel. That's my fucking boyfriend, bitch. Kelly Kelly! This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to Zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering. Hello, my name is Zarakan Yu. Hello, my name is Zarakan Yu, and I'm the founder of Zarakan Productions in Second Life. Over the years my company has had the great joy of filming many shows such as Wandering with Zarakan Yu, WWZY. Zarakan's Opinion Corner, Zok, Can I Shoot This, Sist, Adeline's Kitchen, Tony Blaze, and many more, but some of our proudest work has been our ongoing documentation of some of the wonderful entertainment that can be found in Second Life. But there is a problem. For every show that we have been able to capture for posterity, there are at least ten or more shows that go undocumented and vanish into the obscurity of fading memory, never to be seen again. This is a tragedy, but not altogether surprising. Filming in Second Life requires having both a computer capable of such filming, and having the time to stay for the entire length of shows. Both of these factors are rarely exhibited in one individual, and thus the supply of Second Life filmographers has been severely limited. We now have the power to change that. I have been in contact with well-known Second Life scripter Shan Bright about the creation of a remote camera operator HUD, RCOH, which would allow distant control of an avatar's viewpoint, the receiver, by a series of other avatars, the transmitters. This will allow residents to combine their hardware and time resources, such that no one person needs to meet all the requirements of filming, and thus dramatically increase the number of available filmographers. We will never have to lose another show to time ever again. The exact details of the remote camera operator HUD have already been quantified with Shan Bright, 
and are listed on the project's Kickstarter page. Once the remote camera operator HUD is finished, per my agreement with Shan Bright, the remote camera operator HUD will be made available for free to everyone who joins the Zarkin Productions group. Please donate and make the remote camera operator HUD a reality for Second Life filmographers everywhere. Thank you for your time, and happy wandering.